Hello guys and welcome back. Have you heard about Pythagorean triplet? It's a group of three sides which are able to form right angle triangle and today we are going to figure out how to identify them. So let's begin. Suppose we are given with these three sides and now we have to identify whether they are Pythagorean triplet or not. So how how to do it? Let's let's solve this one now today. This procedure include two steps very first among these three sides we have to choose the longest side and then find the square of it so over here we we have 17 as the longest side and the square of it is 289 and the second step of it includes sum of square of remaining two sides that is side 1 square that is 8 over here and side 2 square that is 15 over here so what we get we get again 289 yes and if these two steps this these two step means longest side square and the sum of square of remaining two side are equal to each other then of course we can say 8 square plus 15 square that is sum of square of two sides and 17 square that is the square of longest side are equal then these three sides are nothing but Pythagorean triplet it means that we can make a right angle triangle using these three sides so let's solve one more question if Side, if sides given to us are 9, 40 and 41 then my first step includes square of longest side that gives us 1681 correct now the second step includes square of sum of square of remaining two sides correct so we have side 1 square plus side 2 square as 9 square and 40 square so what do we get it after adding them again we get same number right and if these two numbers are same then we can say that from 1 and 2 this is nothing but Pythagorean triplet so let's the final let's give try to another question here longest side is 30, 40 so 40 square is nothing but 1600 and sum of square of remaining two side is nothing but 20 square plus 30 square but over here present now we do not get these two first step and second step same so we have to write not equal to sign and then we have to state that it is not a pythagorean triplet yes i hope so you have understood guys don't forget that these include two steps first step we have to find the square of longest side and the second step we have to find the sum of square of remaining two sides if they are equal then they are pythagorean triplet and if these two steps are not equal then they are not pythagorean triplet yes so now it's your turn to solve this sum okay so this is sum given to you three sides are 12 15 and 11 so do not forget to write the answer in the comment box i'll be waiting for you stay tuned for